Dub Nation, Dub Nation, Dub Nation. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, whatever time you're watching this video. Thank you so much for joining in. If it's your first time here, please consider subscribing to the channel and give this video a thumbs up. It helps the channel out a lot, helps push the video further along in front of the YouTube algorithm. You see our heat transfer warehouse, heat press, six in one heat press right here. And you see our blank, our sublimation blank. Both products, by the way, are available. In the description down below, our heat transfer warehouse affiliate links are down below in the description. Use those to make your purchases when purchasing this equipment. Today we're going to be um, sublimating something onto this blank and uh, we're going to have some fun. We're going to create something real easy, real simple, um, probably in Photoshop or InDesign or something like that. And we are going to just figure this thing out. All right. Uh, we're going to search around and figure out how to use this thing and see how how it comes out let me know your experiences with a mug press and if you like it or not um i think it's going to be interesting um yeah it's definitely going to be interesting uh definitely got to figure out well definitely got to figure out what fits which way it fits and how yeah we got to yeah, we got some work to do, guys. So uh, without further ado, let's get started. A-Dub Productions. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is review what it is that we are going to need. Um, I got some stuff right over here off the table. I got some heat tape, right? Heat tape, going to need heat tape. Phone's going off like crazy. Got some scissors, and I got some butcher paper. I know for a fact I'm going to need that because it's a regular stuff just like sublimation. All right, so... What we got to do before we um, do anything is figure out how this stuff works, how this uh, um, mug press works. First of all, what I've noticed when looking at these mug press, press uh, pieces is most of them kind of like have this curve to them. They have like this curve. Um, it's kind of like a cone shape. Like this part right here is small and this part right here is big. That's because most mugs I've come to the conclusion most mugs have that same type of shape. So, um, and they, these, these are for making mugs, guys. So you push the handle in here and you close it and it's kind of like a cone shape. Whereas though the top part is big and the bottom part is smaller. So yeah, and the basic functionality is obviously this wire right here goes over here because you plug it in right here and you just put, you just slide it in like so all right put the uh these little two screws go inside of these two holes right here and the same thing on the other side two screws go in the holes on the other side and then you just twist that down like that and that locks everything into place as far as this is concerned all right now you just plug this up right here Um, and after you push it in, you twist that in and that generates power to the heating element. All right. All right. Now we got our panel right here. We got our on and off switch right here. We got our switch to change from Celsius to Fahrenheit right here. Temperature up, temperature down, mode button. And I don't know what this button is right here. We're going to find out in just a moment. All right, so those are the basic functionalities and the things that you're going to need. Um, also, what I found is while looking at this is if we're going to press this mug, right, or this uh, drinking device, it seems to me like we're going to have to do more than one press because um, none of these actually wrap around it, around the whole entire thing. This one is the most even one I've found right here and yeah even still we're gonna have to do like one press and then another press to get the entire thing um to get the entire thing sublimated on all right so uh those are the challenges that we face right now guys all right so yeah um let's see what we can figure out let's go over the uh control panel this is really important i want you guys to pay attention to this if you are going to buy this uh presser okay 
Typically when we deal with heat presses, we're used to just doing like this and it starts the countdown sequence. This is not how this unit works, all right? Everything is controlled through the control panel. This does nothing but put the pressure on and put the pressure off. It does not engage any timing, any heating, nothing like that, all right? So you're gonna hit the on button on the this, on this switch on the side. On button on the switch on the side. It's gonna get a beep, it's gonna count down. And it's going to display what time it has. I mean, what temperature it has. All right. This is like an action button, a green button. Ignore that for right now. All right. Right now it's in, um, it's in, it's ready. It's in ready mode because nothing is illuminated on this side. Right. Fahrenheit. We got our Celsius. We got our Fahrenheit. Dedicated button for that. Right. We got our mode button. Press it once. It's in set. Set mode. Right. Press it again, goes up the temperature, put what temperature you want it, 400. Press mode again, time, put what time you want it, 60 seconds. Press mode again, it goes into ready mode, right? Now if you press this green button, that number is going to start going up, as it's already going. But what you want to do is get this to start flashing. See how it's flashing? Now it's in set mode. So what set mode means is um, it's going to start counting down as soon as it hits your temperature. So you should be putting your element in, should be in, and now the time is counting down. After it goes all the way down to one second, um, after, after it counts all the way down to the, to your time is up, then you're going to want to take out your, your uh, whatever you have in here, sublimating or pressing, all right? If you want to stop it, you just press the button once, that stops it, puts it back into nothing mode, then you press this again, and it's going to start counting up again, and see how it's going down, press it again, it's going to start going back up, once it gets to 400, actually it's going back up again, 400, right, 400 degrees, press this button, start counting down, all right. Very, very intricate. Press the button again to stop. There you go, it stopped. Set mode. If I press it again right now, it's gonna start counting down. Boom. All right, you guys understand that? It's kind of complicated, kind of complicated, but what you wanna make sure is when you um, are ready for it to start counting down, all these lights right here have to be out. All right. All those lights are out. Once it hits that 400 degrees, you can press start. All right, it's at 400 right If it's not at 400 degrees, if it's lower, it's gonna start going up. All right, see how it's lower? It's at not 396. It's gonna start going up now. Boom, it's at the desired temperature, 400. Press the button, it starts to count down. All right. Sorry I spent so much time on that part, but I just want you guys to understand how this works. So you have to put your mug or whatever it is you're pressing in here manually. All right, all right. Hey guys, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please take this moment, hit the subscribe button. I greatly appreciate it. It helps the channel out a whole lot. Thank you. Now, one thing I'm gonna pay a little bit of close attention to is, uh, our heating element on this little press here, right? I'm gonna take my little ruler and I'm just gonna measure this thing right here. And it's telling me that this little cushion right here is four and a half inches long. So I know my design can't be any more than four and a half inches long if I wanna do it with one press. So we're limited as far as that's concerned, four and a half inches, all right? So just keep that in mind when you are creating your design and we're gonna keep it simple. We're just gonna do a one press design with this uh, because it's our first time using this and we don't wanna to get too, too complicated and run into too many issues. So with that being said, one thing I always tell you guys to do is when you are about to sublimate something using your SG500, always launch Print Manager, which I already have. So Print Manager is standing on standby mode in the background, all right? Um, set up our sublimation printer. Um, you you want to set your sublimation printer up uh, for the paper that you're using and everything. And then you want to go ahead and go to sawgrass.com, sawgrassinc.com, 
and launch print manager. All right, let me start a little screen recording so we can see what we're doing here. Adub Productions. Inside of print manager, I'm in my galleries right here trying to look for a design. I'm just gonna go ahead to blanks, paper canvas, up oh, session timed out. Let me refresh the screen right here. Start creation. All right. Um, go ahead to nine by six. What I say? That's five and a half. That's fine. Nine by six is fine. All right. I'm going to go to galleries. I'm going to go to images, and I'm going to go to upload an image. I'm going to go find that image in my documents. Uh, A dub logos. See what I can pick here. Something with the PNG. Black watermark PNG. Let's see. No, that's my photography. We don't want that one. All right. Let's see what else we got. Black PNG. Here we go. Ada Productions right here. Click on it once and it brings it into the uh, design area. All right, so let's change this to inches so we can see what we're working with. And we know it is six inches wide by two and a half inches tall. Let me just look at my mug real fast. That's gonna be two and a half inches tall. That's good. Six inches around. That's good too. I just want it to be able to be displayed. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and shrink it down uh, two inches. I'm just gonna, how about I just keep it? I'll just keep it the way it is. All right. All right. So, yeah, about this size is, size is sufficient for me. All right. So, Two inches tall. All right. And make it two and a half inches tall. 2.50. That's good. Seven inches around. This can handle that. Okay, cool. All right, so um, we got that taken care of, and we're going to go ahead and go to Print Manager. I mean, send it to print. We're going to select the sawgrass printer that's online, says ready. All right, tray number one, U.S. letter. Yes, that's correct. Um, mirror, we're printing this onto metal. That is our proper paper that we're using, Text Print R. Um, we're gonna put it on high quality. We're gonna change it to vivid. Um, and just launch print, press print, and see how long it takes for Print Manager to pop up on the screen. All right, I'm gonna make sure you get that message. Print Manager has been successfully queued. I'm gonna go ahead and press Print Manager right here to bring it to the front. You can tell it's in the front because it's right here. So now Print Manager should pop up on a screen momentarily, guys. All right, just give it a moment. Whew. I'm excited, I hope this turns out good, guys. We gotta line everything up on the cup. Uh, we have to find our, here it is, our handy dandy tape, heat tape right here. Make sure you guys have your heat tape handy. Waiting for print manager to pop up. It takes a little while, initially. Mm -mm -mm. So let me know down in the description below, what do you guys think about a heat press? Will you guys be buying um, a mug press? Here you go, print manager is up, ready to go. Design is flipped horizontal and pretty much ready to go. Advanced photo, that's fine. I'm just gonna send it to print. Press print right there. And our sublimation printer is over there. So we'll have to go get our image out of the sublimation printer and cut it down to size once it is printed. Hey guys, if you liked what you saw, make sure you hit that like button and throw that thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. A Productions, yes.
We have our paper out of the sublimation paper, um, reversed obviously. We're going to go ahead and cut this down to size so that we have something that we can work with. Something nice and easy right here. Go ahead and use, use our cutting wheel, which is dull. We gotta get a new one of these guys. Pass over it several times to make sure it cuts. All right, now we're gonna go to the other side and do the same thing. And guys, you might wanna see what I did right here. You might wanna save some paper and print out several of these if you know you're gonna be doing that job again, or if you just wanna save some paper and, and do that job, you know, do the, if you plan on doing that job again in a future print, because I, you can see I just wasted a bunch of sublimation paper here. All right, so boom. All right, can't use that again. Okay, so now we're gonna take our mug and we are going to place this on our mug. All right, place this on our mug. Wrap it around. Let's get some tape ready first. Some sublimation tape. I mean, some um, heat tape. Got that ready. Snippity snip. Boom. Why don't we place one right here? And then let's get it in the middle of that right here. Good for advertising. Nice and tight, like a twigger. All right. And I'm gonna just boom, put it on there like that. Got that on there nice and good. The position doesn't matter as long as it's straight. As long as it's straight, all right? So that's good. And then we're gonna take our sublimation paper, butcher paper rather, keep on saying sublimation paper. We can take some butcher paper and another piece of tape. Put that on the edge of the butcher paper. I'm gonna wrap this around here like so. All right. I'm gonna try to get it in the back area so we know exactly where the back is. All right, oh, came up a little bit. Boom, got that on there. And we're good to go, guys. Now it's time to just, the only thing we gotta do now is uh, heat up the heat press and press this on. So let's uh, turn our heat press on, let it heat up. And let's get ready to press this thing. Ada Productions. All right, we've turned our press on. We already know how to work this thing. You see the temperature going up fast. Once it hits, actually no, we uh, wanna go ahead and press this button right here. It's flashing. Once it hits 400 degrees, it's gonna start counting down, all right? So we gotta get our thing here, our mug that we're gonna press and have it on standby and get ready to place it in there once it hits 400 degrees. Because after it hits 400 degrees, it's gonna start counting down. All right, and we wanna have it in there the full 60 seconds. All right, this thing heats up very, very fast. That's one thing I must say about it. Heats up very fast. All right, so we're getting ready to put this in the heating element in just one moment. Still got it over here on standby. Hope this thing comes out good. Let's see. Heat transfer warehouse links in the description below. If you want to do something like this for the holidays, you want to put some pumpkins on a mug or something like that. And I'm just going to go ahead and get ready to put it in there. If close enough, it's going to start counting down soon. So let me go ahead and slide it in there. If I can get it slid in there. Sheesh. All right, there we go. And I'm going to press it. See how it started counting down already? All right, looking good. Hope it didn't shift while I was putting it in there. Mm -hmm. Kind of want to unscrew this, but too late now. I'm just going to leave it on. Don't want to move it. And just so you guys know, this is room temperature. This is room temperature. This doesn't feel hot. This doesn't feel hot. This doesn't feel hot. 
The only thing that's really hot is the actual heating element back here, and even that's not hot. 17 seconds remaining. All right. 10, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Beep. Take it out. All right. It's out. Press the button to make it stop. All right. So we have our thing right here. All right. We're going to go ahead and remove it and see how it came out. Let's take it off. Ooh, nice promotion, Dub Nation. How's that for promotion? Let me turn this off. It looks good. I like it. Let me unscrew this real fast. Release some of that heat. Ooh, hot. Looks good. Looks good to me. What do you guys think in the comments down below? What do you guys think? I think it looks good. Looks very snazzy. Good for promotion. Nice. Now, I printed something very simple, black and white. I need you guys to know you can do full color presses on here. Same like you can do on a shirt. Um, looks good. Nice and glossy. <clears throat> Got the logo. Now we can promote. People can say, what's that? Get people, it's brand awareness, people, brand awareness. Sit this on, on the floor while, you, while you're at the gym. Um, sit this in the house. Uh, give it away as uh, um, free promotion. Uh, you guys can see it's very dull. It transferred pretty good. Transferred very well, actually. A lot of the color went on there. Um, looks good. Looks good. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Once again, heat transfer warehouse links for these blanks as well as um, the heat press, the mug press rather, um, are down in the description below the links for all of those items. Uh, the, the Sawgrass SG500, SG1000 product links also available in the description down below, guys. So let me know what you guys think once again in the comments down below. Pressing shirts and stuff, still my favorite with the SG500 or the SG1000, which I haven't got yet. I'm going to get one soon. Just keep on saying that. I'm going to get one soon, guys. Stay tuned for that. But let me know what you guys think. I think it's a great way to promote your business. I think it's something extra that you can add to your online store, um, something extra that you can add to your customers. To, to your uh, list of things that you, you, you do as far as what your business is concerned. Um, let me know what you guys think. What do you guys think? Mug press, yay or nay? I like it. I like it because it's inexpensive and it's another thing that you can do that you can add to make some more money, guys. Um, let me know what you guys think, what your concerns and what your questions are down in the comments below. Heat transfer warehouse links down below for this mug press. Let me know what you guys think about my mug press. Great for promotion. Going to be using this in plenty of videos, drinking out of it and stuff like that so I can promote to you guys more and more and more. Don't forget, follow me on Instagram, instagram.com backslash Productions, um, facebook.com backslash Productions. Visit the merch store, Alan A. Wade, to buy yourself some channel merch. Help support the channel, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. Mwah. It's your boy, and I'm out. It up while I listen to the rest when you're rocking with the best, baby.